Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and what we are going to do right now is we are going to take a look at writing our first program. Now this won't be anything really special, we are going to use what we already learned, some of the functions, we might introduce a new function that we didn't cover yet, but don't worry this is nothing really too, uh, too extreme, this is still some beginner stuff. Uh, and we're going to see how we can run the program in our Python interpreter and also where we can write it. Now, first of all, for this part of the tutorial, we are going to use idle and we are going to write the program in the idle notepad shell. That's how I call it. In order to access that shell or that part of the uh, file that you actually write the program itself, just click on the file, click on the new file and it should open a window like this, which basically looks exactly the same as this window right here, except this one doesn't really have this printed out. Right here you're writing the programs and then you can actually save this to a file and run the program from here. So let us see what, uh, what we're going to write. Uh, now of course if you want to you can also use notepad++ for example. Some people use that in order to write their programs. Let me just see what this is. Okay, these were some of the previous DLLs that I actually was watching, doesn't even matter, you can use any text editor you want to write this program and we're going to take a look. So let us write our first program now. Uh, we are going to use the print function that we already know what it is and we are also going to take a look at the input function which allows the user to actually specify or to interact with the program itself. So first of all, let us do something like this. We will select a variable called x, we will call it simply just x, or let's call it just for the educational purposes number underscore 1. So that will be the variable name. We can set it to be equal to input and open and close brackets. Now what this input function will do is basically once we run the program it will block the program entirely and it will wait for a user of the program to actually input something into it into their keyboard. So for example, it will pause at this part right here and it will wait for a user to specify, for example, 3 or 4 or 5, since it is a number, uh, we will need to specify the number to the actual program. So number 2 underscore 2 will be also equal to input and we can print something like this. So we want to print uh, calculating result and three dots so it looks like the program is actually doing something and then we can actually perform uh, anything anything we basically want we can add these two numbers we can multiply these two numbers we can uh, let's simply just multiply these two numbers we can do that by, just by actually selecting a variable we can call it z or let's just call it result because we didn't call these three two x and y so result will be equal uh, to the actual number one so number underscore one uh, times number underscore two and then all we can do right now is actually print the result to the screen let me just see why is this tabbing in by itself doesn't even matter we can just print the result to the screen so we can print something like this print the result is and then two dots let us add a space and we can concat since we know that we can actually concat the actual the actual strings uh, we can concat two strings but you might notice that this result variable will not actually be a string it will rather be a number so in order to make it a string we will use a function that I will explain later on in another future video but for now just for the purpose of the video itself just use it it is called str stands for string and it will basically make uh, a number to be a string so let me just type it right here it has open and close brackets because it is a function and in those brackets we specify what we want to make a string of so we want to make a string of the result number so let us see how this will actually work. If I just go right here, run, and go onto the run module. Source must be saved. Okay, so let us save the program. 
we can save it on the desktop as a first program.py save it just like this while scanning string literal so let us see what the problem is input right here okay so let us do something like this we will in the double quote specify enter the first number we can do something like this then it will wait for the actual input and right here also in between these single quotes enter the second number and then out of these two numbers we can make number one equals integer of number one now i'll explain everything just let me type this out so number two equals integer of number underscore two now let us right now try to first of all save this so save run oh okay i see where the error is this is an error that we that i showed you before basically i am missing an actual uh, uh quote right here because I only opened a single quote right here. I, re I really never even closed it. That's why it actually gave us an error. So let us save this and try to run it once again. Run module. First thing we get printed out is enter the first number. So let's enter the first number to be equal to five. It will ask us enter the second number. Second number will be equal to six. And you can see it prints out calculate calculating result. The result is 30, which is correct. Now let's take a look at the actual code right here and explain everything a little bit better. So first of all, as I said before, this input function right here will prompt the user to enter something. Now if we didn't specify this string right here, it will only hang right there. It wouldn't print these two strings right here. It will just wait for the input. That's why it's always best to specify to the user what they need to enter. So for example, they don't enter a string. Uh, we type here enter the first number, user enters the first number, then it goes to the second line, which is number two. It performs the same actual function of input, so it will hang and wait for the user to specify the second number, uh, as it says right here, so enter the second number. Then, out of these two variables, we will make an integer. Now, why are we doing that? Well, basically, this input function can sometimes return a string, and basically what we want to do is try to make an integer out of these two values. Same idea as we did right here. We try to make a string out of an integer. Now, you can't really do that so for, uh, with all of the stuff. So for example, let's take a look at this. String equals hello. Uh, if you wanted to make a string to be equal, or mm, let's do it like this. So redesigned underscore string equals uh, integer of this string this will not work as you will see right here uh, this will not work because the hello is not even a number but if you just type here string one equals to actually open single quotes and type a number right here so for example three not three and this letter let me just do it once again so string one equals open single quotes three and then we want to try do the same thing. So redesigned underscore string equals integer out of string one. You can see right now this did work. And if we print redesigned underscore string, it will print number three. So you can make uh, an integer out of a string that is a number but you can't really make an integer out of a string that is a word, which actually makes sense. It goes vice versa as well. So you can't make an integer out of a string and you can make a string out of an integer if they are not a number. So right here, uh, let me just see. So we printed out a calculating result right after we actually converted these two values to be integer if they aren't, then the result is equal a uh, normal just mathematical equation which is just multiplying these two numbers that the user inputted and then we print the result is plus the string of the result 
Now the reason once again why we are using the string of the result is because if we set right here result to be equal to 30, as I believe it was, and we try to perform the same right here, so let me just copy this. So copy this line, I will paste it right here. I will delete the string function, I will just concat the actual result, you can see that we actually get an error. It says can only concatenate string, not integer. That's why we need the string uh, function to convert this result number 30 to be an integer. As you can see, if we just type here result, it is now an integer, but if I just type here result equals string of the result, and I just type result once again, it is now a string. You can see the difference because this doesn't have single quotes and this does have single quotes. You can always convert it back if you want to. Result equals integer of the result. And it will once again be a number. So that is our entire first program. It is not really anything special, but it is basically our first program. So that there that is. Uh, of course, we are in the future going to code more advanced programs. This is just something to show you uh, this input function right here and to show you this string and integer function, which we are going to take a look at uh, in the future videos in more detail. But that would be about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope I see you in the next tutorial. Bye.